Welcome back to the Sports News. Right now we have a very special guest. He was a 2011 selection for the U.S. Soccer Hall of Fame and a midfielder who starred on the U.S. Men's National Team along with the L.A. Galaxy of Major League Soccer for nearly two decades. So the man knows his stuff. Kobe Jones is here to talk about several of the big games coming up in the NLS and how soccer, soccer continues to grow in America along with some of the controversies that are going on in the sport right now. Kobe, thanks for joining us here on the Sports News. Uh, not a problem. Happy to be here, Ryan. So right off the bat, I want to talk about Heineken Rivalry Week. What is that all about? Give us some information on what's going on in the world of soccer. Well, this, this is all about the best matchups within MLS in a one-week span in this period. Uh, this is where you know Heineken has jumped on board as a sponsor for the Rivalry Week, which is very important. It shows the growth of the game right now, but it's about these matchups. It's about the Portland uh, Seattle matchup in the Pacific Northwest for the Cascadia Cup. You know, it's about who's going to be the king of New York when we talk about NYC FC and the New York Red Bull. And all these games are so important because it's right in the middle of the season. It's right at that point where teams kind of go one way or the other. They either climb the ladder or they fall. So kind of proving ground for these teams as we're looking at these big games coming up. Indeed as it is. This is where they have to perform. Of course. So as we look at it, some of these big matchups coming up, some of these big games, big rivalries, is going to make for very exciting live games and television. Now, with the popularity of soccer picking up, especially right now with the U.S. Women in the World Cup, how do you impact uh, these games taking over kind of the overseeing or the continued growth of soccer for U.S. fans? Well, I think this all helps each other, you know, be it, you know, the games within MLS or the U.S. women playing right now or the men or even the youth national teams, the under 20s or the, the Olympic teams. It's all important because it helps grow the game in the United States. And, and for me, anytime a U.S. team does well, people pay attention. These are events. The Americans love an event and it's the job of the powers that be if we can grab onto that casual fan that's watching the event and turn them into soccer fans by showing them that day in, day out, week in, week out, that there are other exciting matches to watch. And you mentioned those casual fans and the ability to connect with the long-term fans or the hardcore fans. How does Rivalry, Rivalry Week impact that? How can some viewers get involved in that? Well, for the viewers, it, it's watch the games. You know, it, it, that, that's the most important part. It starts this Friday when Houston, you know, takes on, F, uh, uh, takes on FC Dallas. You know, that's where it goes in. And it goes into Saturday and Sunday. You know, the, there's some, some big matchups. And really, if they want to, you know, they can hop online. They can go to Twitter and they can go to at Heineken Soccer, you know, or they can go to HeinekenRivalryWeek.com to get more information. But for me, I would say talk about it. Tell your friends about it. See, see what team you're your friends like and you know and see if you know you maybe can be the devil's advocate and just pick the other team and get your own little rivalry going make bets on it get your friends to go out and actually watch the games at your local sports bar something like that make a good time out of it like be a normal football game or something like that enjoy that soccer that great sport that we have with rivalry week coming up exactly you know that's the point it's about uh, getting together with people and if you can interact you know and talk and support you know, we couldn't ask for anything more than that. And now I want to ask you while we have you on the line here, we're very happy to have you, Kobe Jones, here on the Sports News. But you've done a couple interviews recently where you were very outspoken about the controversies going on internationally with FIFA and some of that. How do you imagine that impacting the game internationally as well as here at home in the U.S.? Okay, that, a good question. I, I mean, I've been outspoken and I, I think it's necessary to be. Uh, when you're talking about corruption and there's been charges leveled against FIFA over the years, uh, it's necessary, I think, to clean it up. You know, it, it had never been proven, there had never been something shown and brought into light, but now it seems like there is. And if that's the case, that there are, you know, issues like that, that there is corruption, then it needs to be handled. It needs to be cleaned up. How it's going to affect the game? The, yeah, at the highest levels, you know, when we're talking about management, there will be some effect. But I don't think it's going to affect the players. It won't affect the players that the fans are watching day in and day out. That's just the passion for the sport. It's not going to affect the, the parent, you know, that's taking their kid to the Sunday League. You know, that, that's not going to happen. That's the, FIFA is that overarching, like, big brother, you know, <laughs> that, I, I, that I like to say that is uh, not going to have too much of an effect on the day in and day out of the game. 
Okay. So obviously, uh, and I think most of us would agree with you, any problems, that stuff needs to be cleared up. This game needs to be pure for people to watch and fair for everyone to be involved with. I, I wanna, wanna touch on maybe a little bit of a lighter note here. And while we have your expertise in the studio, get some predictions for maybe some of these MLS teams and players. Who do you have taken home the cup this year? Well, well, funny enough, I know I'm biased, you know, being an <laughs> L.A. guy, but I'm going to have to go with the L.A. Galaxy. Again, they seem strong. They're in a better position than they were last year at this time, and they're only getting reinforcements in. You know, they're getting people like Robbie Keane back off of injury, Giassi Zardes international duty. He seems to be coming into form. And then when Steven Gerrard comes into the side, I think that's only going to strengthen their midfield where we're, where that was possibly their one weakness. Okay, and you heard it first, Kobe Jones got the LA Galaxy. Who do you got? Get your friends together. Watch Rivalry Week coming up for Major League Soccer. Kobe Jones, thank you so much for being here on the Sports News today. No problem, thanks for having me, Ryan.